Okay guys, thanks so much for again. Uh, today guys, actually I haven't done a video in approximately Fortnite, as I, as I very much obviously always say, which is almost, in this circumstance, almost entirely true. But uh, yeah guys, I just have to mention, I have to do a fair few vlogs uh, oftenly now, because obviously I can't get on out on many digs, and the only permission I have, uh, most of it's been plowed and seeded, and unfortunately I cannot detect it, uh, obviously as you... If you've been uh, with me long long enough, then obviously you know that's my uh, historical permission near Hal Zone and that of Clent Hills in the uh, probably in uh, congruency to that of uh, both locations. But um, yeah, uh, I'll be going on a dig with the Clodhopper's Melt Setting Club. Uh, if you haven't signed up for that, uh, go and uh, type in Clodhopper's Melt Setting Club, go on there. A website into their forum, sign up, uh, they'll accept you within possibly a week or so, possibly in less than that. But guys, very much obviously have to say that I'll be going on a dig uh, a day after my birthday, on which I've actually successfully decided. Uh, I don't know if this um, decision will change over the next week uh, when it is my birthday, but my birthday is on the 28th of March and today it is the 21st. But so uh, I've actually decided to go to uh, for a um, a GoPro Hero rather than that of a more expensive variety, obviously, because I'm going to spend too much on a camera just for uh, melt detecting, quite obviously. But um, when I do get the camera, I'm very much pleased to uh, obviously use it. I'll have to get used to it first, and then quite obviously I'll get a chest mount. I'll either do that, mount it to uh, get a car suction cup, and mount it, mount it to my dad's car, and then we can. Uh, <laughs> do a, um, a time lapse to going to the dig and then obviously I can um, mount it to my spade or that of the detector I can change uh, throughout the dig it doesn't really matter but uh, obviously it'll be look a uh, look a lot better on my videos because uh, uh, after that I'll just uh, process it on movie maker and therefore upload it to that of uh, YouTube to detect him as uh, obviously I myself am and uh, well guys uh, it shoots 1080p it's approximately 30 frames per second which is almost uh, entirely factually and uh, scientifically proven and uh, 720p to that of 60 frames per second with that of a super view variety which makes uh, the lens extend largely to make, give a good uh, sort of panorama feeling to that video but uh, yeah I'll see you at the dig it's uh, I can't exactly tell you the location but it's in it's let's say in near that of uh, Hereford I believe but uh, Hereford's a very large place so obviously you're not going to find the exact permission are you but uh, yeah, other than that guys, hope to find a few, as tis based, quite secretly, I'll just give you a hint of this, uh, uh, on the site where, of which there is a pre-Norman church, which possibly, I'm not too uh, sure if the structure still stands, but it could possibly be Roman, or Viking, or Norman of some variety, pre-Norman, so that's of Anglo-Saxon possibly. So it's obviously pre ten sixty six, which is indeed very old, and additionally near that near the site of a uh, Tudor or medieval, I'm not too particularly sure. Additionally, uh, that of a manor house. But uh, other than that, guys, uh, when I go to the dig, I'll obviously record it with my new GoPro Hero. Uh, yeah, that'll be twenty ninth of March, and uh, I may do a quick review on the GoPro Hero as well. But uh, as again, I'm recording with my iPhone four S as usual, particularly good high definition. It is 1080p, full on definition of this, so particularly brilliant. I use this for vlogging mostly, but uh, I should be doing a uh, video futuristically in the very not much, so uh, not too near future. Obviously being that of 29th March, I've said many times in this video. But other than that, guys, I have to say, in a bit.